Hi friends, Sparklet here. This is my fifth film about our two-day weekend in Norway. Today we continue driving on the scenic road number seven, down from the largest high altitude plateau in Northern Europe. Magnificent nature, impressive trolls road, power plant, scenic valley with waterfalls and human built structures. Houses in nowhere. <laughs> yep, houses in nowhere. There's a different kind of flag flying up there. Well, that's Lions Club, I guess. Okay. Yaranat Felstow is the highest situated mountain lodge at Road 7, and landmark is the Troll. We are stopping somewhere where one landscape transforms to another one. There's a bus that comes all the way up here. Goes to Gielo. Here we go. The place for tourists to stop was the... Oh, those people were waiting yeah, for a bus. Yeah, they were camping. Yeah, there's an amazing view in front of us. See? Wow. It's like the ocean, but it's actually a mountain covered by uh, Fog? clouds. Fog or clouds? Well, it's clouds until you get into it, then it's fog. <laughs> them right now. People are camping around those ponds and lakes or rivers. It's a nice river. Probably goes to the fjord. We're trying to back up to see the very interesting formation by chemicals. Those That's how giant I cars. <laughs> They're like buildings, towering buildings. Oh, there's a giant car right behind us. How'd that happen? Okay, we'll go back to that place. Yes. This is the no zone. No swimming, mostly no swimming, no jumping in Nothing's the river. Nothing's allowed here. <laughs> it's a dangerous area. Let's check it out. Looks very deep here. It does look and deep. You know, people are not allowed to jump in. No jumping? In case someone jumps in. No, I think that's in case somebody falls in. Do you want to jump in, Nick? No, I don't. I don't want to test that. I can give you a ring. And look at this. It's got, uh, I don't know, some kind of a something. Oh, that that's what you throw it with, I guess. And there oh. is something written in Norwegian, which is very popular in Norway, because you can read in Norwegian. And if you don't understand Norwegian, there is no you're out way. Of luck. Yeah, you're out of luck. Look at that wildness. Wow. But it's also built, built. Water comes through here. This is the other side of the structure. Just along the road. It looks like kind of a dam. This but is some sulfur on the top of the water here, I believe. You see the sulfur on the rocks over there? 
Is it sulfur? It's, yeah, it's mineralization coming out of the ground. But that water's hot over there, but you can't get to it. You feel like you're gonna fall in the water. Yeah, you feel like you can get in there. And water is there in this in this matter of you know the, I think they left for you to see where you are. I'm interested in what this is. It keeps changing. Level maybe of water or something? I don't know. Maybe that's energy it's generating. It does okay. look like some kind of energy generation place. Sturlia is a power plant built inside the mountain with an access tunnel from Sturlia on the lower side of the National Road number 7. The power plant utilizes a 75 meter height of fall between Lake Bjorrio and Lake Sissenwatten in Eidfert municipality. Statecraft is a leading company in hydropower internationally and Europe's largest generator of renewable energy. It is a global company in energy market operations. It has almost 5,000 employees in 20 countries. We would love to spend more time everywhere at each point but we have only two full days and two full nights in Norway. So that means we have to move on. Oh, it's nice and warm in this car. Yes. People live here. Yeah, there's a giant uh, lake right up over the top of that. You can see it over there. Yeah? That's Lagaria. that dam right there. Okay, that's what I was filming, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's continue, yeah. Wait, I gotta get a charging station. Okay. Circle K. It's one and two. Yeah, we'll make it there with 36%. Yeah, but it's 125, 8 We'll yeah, make it, it looks there with like 11 even if we don't charge. Okay. Old rock bridge. Old it's like a Roman bridge. I don't think the Romans were here. You'd have to hike in all your materials up there on the side of the mountain. Yeah, many houses have grass on the roofs. It makes that maybe we can learn from the Norwegians. Yes. Put some dirt on our roof and plant some grass. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it might be very good insulation. Might we be. should try maybe it for our big house. But we'll definitely have to research that. Pedestrian bridge over the freeway, I believe. Look at all those grass roofs on yeah. the houses here. I love it. It's also very good from the point of view of defense. Right. The grass on the roof, that means that no airplane to see you from... Not, nobody sees <laughs> from, the, from the sky your house. You look like a part of the land. Yeah, Voinfoss. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the Voringfossen, Norway's most famous waterfall, because the entrance by car was closed, but we didn't have enough time to walk there. It's really an impressive sight, which we should see next time. This tunnel is built.
Rolls Road is an impressive piece of road building where the road snakes and climbs its way up and up along steep mountainside. Okay, these are some magnificent uh, cliffs over here. And you can see over there in that distance, kind of like this black tar coming down the sides of the cliff, against yeah. the cliff. Yeah. And now over here, you see those two white spots on the side of the cliff? It almost looks like a petrified tunnel. And in fact, some archeologists claim that if there was a uh, civilization, like a long, long, millions of years ago, the only evidence that we would have left of them are fossilized tunnels, if we found them. <laughs> you did. Maybe that might be fossilized tunnels right there. But that is the road. Uh, on the bottom. That's the road coming back, yeah. I think. We're going to be on that road when we go down. Every bend has its own name, most of them named for one of the foremen that led to the construction gangs that built the road. The bends and curves bear witness to the skill of the constructors built up on the base rock of the steep mountain sides or hewn by hand into the mountain itself. The road is narrow with a gradient of 9 degrees, but passing pockets have been incorporated and traffic normally flows without a problem. Trollstingen is both fascinating and a test of the nerves, and if you don't have a good head for heights, perhaps you should let someone else drive. Another tunnel in front of us. Now we gotta go through these big cliffs and rocks. Yes. Getting down our road right now. Out to the universe. Out of the tunnel. Oh look, here's one of those rock bridges. The old rock bridges. What do you think about this place, Lydia? It's amazing. Look at the air. That is so calm. So calm water. Calm water. Yeah. Rapids. Oh, it's wild. Powerful. It's like, wow. <laughs> I don't have to walk over the stone bridge. Okay. You gotta walk over the stone bridge. It's amazing. It's sound. It's uh, power. It's wet. Uh, Rocks and water gets smooth. Looks like good water for beer. <laughs> it's not so cold here anymore. It's not cold anymore. So we decided to make selfies here with this powerful water. Very beautiful point of Norway. And I'm holding my warm, wonderful wife. <laughs> and I'm holding my warm, wonderful camera. In my next film, I will show you Eight Fjord and the Fjordside Village and other spectacular highlights. It's really amazing. Subscribe and watch your Sparklet.